Hey guys, what's up? It's me B. <laughs> Sorry, that's my first time using my like my nickname on here. Um, I don't really want to go by Brittany anymore just because I've never really liked my name. I've never connected to it. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I just prefer not being called that. Like I would literally prefer anything else other than that. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to start using this as like my intro or whatever. But yeah, I've been telling some people to call you B or whatever. So I don't know. Just yeah. Anyway, this is not the point. So today I have a story time for you and I'm going to try to make it short because it's really not that long. But um, yeah, today is how I may have rejected a guy who asked me to go to homecoming with them during my freshman year of high school. And I feel lucky like an asshole because if I knew that he had actually meant it, I might have actually said yes. And also he knows about my channel and I don't know if he actually watches my videos. But if he does, then I'm so fucking sorry dude. Like I... It's not you, it's, it's me. Like, it, it, it really is me just being me, so I'm sorry. But yeah, anyway, so let's call this guy Andy. Because, like, Andy be sack of Black Little Bride. Sorry, I'm an emo piece of shit. But yeah, let's call him Andy. And oh, by the way, let's go with, like, some backstory. Okay, so me, I'm not the type of person who likes dances or parties or, like, you know, nothing like that. I don't like any school event. Um, I don't want to be at school any longer than I have to so I you know wasn't planning on going to homecoming I don't plan on going to any other future homecoming or prom I'm literally gonna be like my brother who has never went to homecoming or prom which like Yes, but um, yeah, I'm like I always get like a ton of shit from it because especially from my mom because she's like Oh, you know, you're gonna regret it later, which bitch I haven't so I don't think I will so uh, yeah, but I just it's not my thing i also have a lot of anxiety and social anxiety and, and agoraphobia so i you know mm -hmm. it's just not my place to be um i'm really not good with large crowds of people um unless i'm at a concert because concerts are fucking awesome but yeah so it's just not my thing and i don't like getting dressed up and all that stuff and also my school was really strict so um or like my past school that because like this was a different school that i went to for my freshman year but it was really strict so it was like once you got into the um to the dancing hall or whatever you couldn't leave until the party or until homecoming actually finished and it lasted three fucking hours so i was like you know i already knew i was gonna have like an attack or whatever so i was just not willing to fucking risk that so yeah um so anyway let's get into the actual part where i rejected him so um beforehand before that he had asked two other girls and they both said no um one of them was my friend and she said no and then the other one was my friend's other friend and she said no and i'm pretty sure she had a boyfriend back then or i mean she still does but um yeah i don't know she just like couldn't or whatever so um they both said no and i guess i was like his third option or whatever i don't even know but you know he told my friend he was like oh you know like i want to ask her to homecoming because she's like really like nice and chill which was thank you like i, I love that thank you <laughs> but yeah so i guess he like actually they want, want to go with me and uh so it was this happened during my fifth period um which was right before lunch and my fifth period was introduction to multimedia so it was like a a technology class and it was it was kind of like weird the setup of how it was basically it was you know it was a computer room so there was like two long tables like one on this side and then the other on the other side of the classroom and the computers were kind of like set up weird but like the there's like the table and then the um the computer was like under the table so like you would scoot in your chair and then you could look down at the computer like from under the table it was kind of like weird but also like really fucking cool but anyway so um you know we were just like it was like a big table so i was sitting next to this one guy that i went to uh, you know elementary and junior high school with him and then um right in front of me was andy and then right next to andy was his friend let's call him jinx and um so we were just like, we were, it's just like, hey, I could face him, I could see him, I could hear everything he was saying. And so um, one day when, you know, homecoming was coming up, you know, homecoming season or whatever, you know, everyone was asking their dream girl, everyone was making like homecoming proposals, you know, trying to be all cute and shit, like, yeah. Anyway, it was a whole, it was a whole thing, you know, the hype. So I don't really get the whole, you know, homecoming hype, I think it's just a dance. Um, 
I mean, I mean, really, yeah, it is just a dance, which, I mean, like, I'm not gonna, you know, rain on other people's parade, you know, if you like it, if you wanna go, if you wanna, if you think it's really fun, then, like, go ahead, but I just personally don't see all the fun in it, but anyway, let's move on, um, so, yeah, so, we were in class one day, and, you know, I was just doing my shit, I was doing my work, and, you know, I hear Andy, you know, and he's talking to, um, to Jinx, you know, his friend, and they're talking, and, Andy's like, oh, you know, I'm gonna ask every girl that's at homecoming just as a joke, you know, I'm just gonna ask them as a joke and even if they say no, like, I'm still gonna ask them, you know? And, you know, I'm hearing this because he's, like, right in front of me. So I was just, like, hearing him, like, hearing him, you know, say his jokes or whatever. And then he turns to me at one point and he's like, hey, Brittany, like, will you go to homecoming with me? And, you know, I thought this was a joke because I was, like, you know, he was literally just joking about it before. So uh, I didn't really know what to say because I was like, uh, like, I'm really bad when people joke around with me. Like, I'm just like, I'm so fucking awkward and shit. So I was, I just told him, I was like, oh, like, I'm actually not going to homecoming. And you know, his friend Jean started laughing and I didn't really, like, understand why. But then I was like, oh, shit, like, did he mean it or what? You know, like, I, <laughs> yeah, so... I was like, you know, did he actually like mean it? And so, you know, his friend was laughing and Andy was just kind of like, oh. And um, he, he was pretty chill about it, you know, it wasn't really a big deal, but he was like, oh, can I ask why you're not going? And then he like kind of guessed why, cause he, um, I don't know, he was just like, oh, like, is it cause you have anxiety? And I was like, yeah, like, I don't know how you fucking got that on the first try, but okay. So yeah, and I was like, yeah, you know, like, it's just not really my thing. Like, I don't, I don't really do dances or whatever, you know, I'm not, I'm not into it you know unless it's like gumbia or something you know take me out to dance or whatever but um i was just like not interested so um and going to homecoming so yeah everything was pretty chill whatever <laughs> yeah so yeah I, I felt like a little awkward but it wasn't it really wasn't a big deal and um you know after that you know it was lunch and i went to my locker i got my shit and i went over to my friend's locker because like hers was like down the hall and so you know I met up with her and then my other friend you know the friend that he asked like first um she came up to me and she's like hey like did you say no to Andy and I was like yeah why and she's like oh you know like he really wanted to go with you like he really you know thought you were like nice and cool or whatever and like wanted you to go to homecoming with him and then I felt like an asshole because I was like what shit like he didn't actually you know think he meant it and he was joking about it which I don't know, I guess that was his, like, I don't know, I think that was, like, maybe, like, a plan in case I said no. So, like, it would just seem like a joke or whatever, but <laughs> it was fucking weird. <laughs> now my friend got mad at me because she's like, you should have said yes. Um, but, yeah, it's just, it's not my thing. So, um, I don't, I don't really know what else to say. I thought this was just, like, a little funny story time. Um, so, yeah, but if, I don't know, if I knew he meant it, no, never mind. I was gonna say I probably would have said yes, but actually no, I still would have said no because I'm like, bitch, like I'm not going to homecoming like with that. So yeah, that was pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe, and comment down below. Um anything. So yeah. Uh and hopefully you'll stay tuned for my next video. Bye.